And once again, my brother in Islam, Allah does not look at the amount that you sacrifice, but what Allah looks at this heart. Does this heart love Allah the most? When Allah Azza wa Jal commands Ibrahim alayhi salam to slaughter his son, Ismail, and then picture yourself and put yourself in the place of Ibrahim. The attachment that Ibrahim had to Ismail is more than the average attachment from my father to a son. Why? Because Ibrahim waited for over 100 years until he had his first child. Ibrahim waited over 100 years until Allah gave him that first child. So his heart was a lot more attached to Ismail than the average heart of us that Allah Azza wa grants us a child just after marriage. But then, when that child grows, and then piety and righteousness appear on the face of Ismail, Ibrahim sees his son, very righteous, very pious, a prophet to be. So not only that the heart of Ibrahim is attached to Ismail, but now when you have a righteous son with a bright future, your heart becomes a lot more attached to the son. So Ibrahim became so attached to Ismail. And Ibrahim sees Ismail growing with piety and righteousness and obedience to Allah and his parents. And that moment when Ibrahim becomes so attached to Ismail, so close to Ismail, so loving to Ismail, Allah commands Ibrahim to slaughter his son Ismail. Allahu Akbar. What a test. What a test. What's the test upon Ibrahim? Not to leave Ismail. After Allah tested him to take Ismail and his mother Hajar in the middle of a valley that no being lives there. But now the test that Ismail to be slaughtered by his father Ibrahim. Ya Bunaya, inni ara fil manami, anni adbahuk, fandur madha tara. O oh son, Allah commands me in my vision and dreams that I slaughter you. So what do you respond back to you? Imagine you say that to your son. The police will be knocking on your door in less than a minute. Ya Bunay, inni ara fil manami, adbahuk, fandur madha tara. Oh my son, Allah commands me in the dream that I slaughter you. So what do you suggest to me? So what does this righteous, pious young man reply to his father? He says, Ya Abati, Ya Abati, Ya Abati, If'al ma tu'mar, satajiduni insha'allahu min as Oh father, oh father, do what Allah had commanded you to do. Insha'Allah, by the will of Allah, you're going to find me from amongst those who are patient. 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 For the sake of Allah. If that's what Allah commands you or that, don't even hesitate. Because Allah's commandment comes before loving your son. Allah's commandment comes before loving anyone. And now Ibrahim grabs his son Ismail, walking with him. Where? some beautiful park or amusement entertaining park walking with his son knowing that his son this could be the last time that he ever walks with his father and then he lays him on that rock that he saw in his dreams that he slaughtered his son Ismail to grab the knife and to come and slaughter his son Ismail but by the will of Allah Allah Azza wa Jal prevents the knife to slaughter Ismail. Then the call comes from Allah, from above the heavens, and Allah calls upon Ibrahim. This is the big test. Don't slaughter him. Ya Allah, but you commanded me to slaughter him. Well, it's not about slaughtering his son or not. It's about what's in your heart. What's in your heart? So when Ibrahim came to slaughter Ismail, and that moment Ibrahim 
did everything he can to slaughter Ismail. Allah Azza wa Jal did not allow the slaughter of Ismail because slaughtering Ismail does not benefit Allah. I wanted to say, is in the heart of Ibrahim. Does Allah come before anyone, including his most beloved son Ismail? Sacrifice. It's not about what you sacrifice. It's not about what you give. It's about what's in the heart.